Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I am excited. I am excited. As you can tell, my hair is not done. That's because we are going to be playing with a brand new toy. I did it. I purchased it. This is the Dyson Air Wrap. It's the smooth and control one. And I've just been seeing, I've just been seeing so many videos of people getting like the most beautiful curls with this and the last few weeks I've been blowing out my hair and then taking a big fat curling wand and curling it so I can get those voluminous like big bouncy like blowout curls and I just feel like that's just too much heat on my hair and I was just getting upset because I didn't want to damage my hair more because I obviously have bleached hair so it's already damaged um so I said it and I purchased it and I'm really 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 excited so I'm gonna try it for the first time on camera with you my mom was like so mad because she's like I want to try the brush one <laughs> Cause it does come with a brush attachment um but i'm really excited honestly like i don't care i know it's expensive but i'm excited okay i'm gonna go ahead and stop blabbing now all right i hope you guys before we get into the video my hair is like already dry which is like crazy i wanted to air dry it just mostly um but i still have to like a lot of this is still wet but i just wanted to uh hop on here and quickly say before we started i hope you guys are doing well here i'll talk while i'm brushing my hair I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying sane. Um, what are you guys doing while you're in quarantine? I've actually been reading um, some books on my Kindle app on my iPad and I've been painting. I've been very creative. Like I feel like my brain is just flowing with creative juices. So I know that it works better on damp hair which is why I let my hair air dry for a majority of it. So we're just gonna wet my hair a little more. So this is the Dyson Air Wrap. It's the smooth control. This video is going to be all over the place because I'm just so excited at this point. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, uh, the pre-styling dryer attachment and um, put it on first to dry like more of the root and then I'll go in with the curling iron. I've seen so many videos on this like when it first came out and a lot of people um, kind of let the air wrap wrap the hair itself but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl it like I would be curling like on a curl iron. Um, so if you guys haven't seen it it does come in a big case like this really really cute really sleek it's quite heavy <laughs> um, okay so you can watch the 30 second film hold a section of damp hair um, hair will self wrap move styler towards your head no need to twist and hold until your hair is dry and then switch up and release so that's what it comes with so this is what it looks like inside oh my god I'm so excited so I do have a brush attachment here which I'm actually gonna try first so I'm gonna keep that out and then we have the two curling attachments um, one goes in one direction and the other goes in the other so one goes towards your face and one goes away from your face and then we also have the tree styling um, attachment as well. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to try and take this out. I know a lot of people were like saying that this is really big and heavy. But I mean, I've been using the regular Dyson. If you guys um, don't know, I do have the regular Dyson, the blow dryer, with a few attachments. And I really wanted this first. But I didn't think I was going to use it. But then I just like... My hair just dries so frizzy, and I just don't like the way that it's been looking. So there are three different fan settings, um, three different heat settings, and then a cool shot button. All right, so I'm going to use the brush attachment. I'm just trying to take the, the brush up to my roots so we can dry my roots. I feel like I'm vacuuming my hair. I don't know. All right, let's try the curl attachment because that's literally what I want. So how do you... Oh, okay. So this is how you eject it. This video is all over the place. So if it goes like this, does that mean it, that's away from my face? Okay. So let's curl. It's so hard to do because I don't have a mirror in front of me. So let's do this. Now 
Nope, I'm doing it wrong. Because I know that if the hair wasn't... If the hair wasn't clinging onto it, then I know that was the wrong way. And I'm gonna lower it. So I don't know how to let it wrap. Let's try this. Let's see how this bra this curl looks. I'm gonna get hotter. I just want to see what the curl looks like. Doing it a different way. confused okay what I have learned from doing it in a mirror so this is what my hair is looking like so I'm not gonna say anything just yet just because I think I curled like the bottom of it wrong I definitely find that your hair needs to be a little bit more wet it can't be like almost dry um, I find that the curl just looks better when it's just a little bit more wet so I've actually just been spraying water on my hair just to make them a little bit more wet. Notice that this is the on and off button. So if you switch it on, you switch it up, it goes on. And then we switch it down. But in order to have it cool, because the blue button's there, you have to hold it there for a few seconds and the air starts to get cool. So we're just gonna... I've been like holding this piece, but you don't have to because it's just gonna. And I've been like going like this with it. And now I'm just gonna hit the cool shot button. Once I feel like it's cool enough, I'm gonna slide it down and then slide it off. Let's see what this curl looks like. Ooh, she bouncy. Hi guys. Before I uploaded this Dyson video, I wanted to give it a fair shot, so I decided to rewash my hair. Um, it's like two or three days later. I rewashed my hair and everything like that, and I want to see how it curls and how it blow dries with damp hair. I think I, I think I waited too long to blow dry my hair. My hair was like pretty much like 75% air dried, and I just felt like it was too dry because I had to keep wetting it. So. I decided to wet my hair, wash my hair, all that fun stuff, and we're gonna actually gonna go ahead and blow out everything together. So I wanted to try this guy. This is brand new. This is from Briogeo. It's the Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. Um, you can use it by itself, or you can even put it in like your hair mask if you use a hair mask. Um, and I wanted to test it out and just try it. And see because I do have damaged hair because I do bleach it so I wanted to test it out so this is what it looks like the bottle is so cute because it has a rose in it like I'm trying not to blind you from the light do you guys see the rose and then the rose petal I think it's so freaking cute oh, I'm just going to take a little bit of this it doesn't really have a scent Kind of hard to come out you gotta like shake it shake it real good and i'm just going to rub it between my hands and i'm pretty much going like mid section down i don't really want to put the oil like up there i don't really have any damaged pieces pieces up there um i'll like bring it a little bit higher in my front because my blonde does go a little bit higher 
And then what I've been using recently, this is by Drunk Elephant. This is the Wild Marula Tangle Spray. It's a detangle and a heat protectant. I've actually really been liking this a lot. Please do not judge my quarantine nails, okay? Like, I cannot wait to go get them done. Um, but I absolutely love this. I do have to say, I was not using a heat protectant <laughs> in the past. So, once I saw that they came out with, like, hair care and body care and stuff, I jumped on Sephora and I purchased some. And I'm really happy with it. I don't know how to describe the scent of these products because even the the body cleanser I have the body cleanser and the body lotion I purchased as well they have a similar scent it kind of I don't even know how to describe it like if you go to a Sephora and they have it on display just smell it because to me it just smells so different okay I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and we're gonna blow that this hair so I'm going to curl my hair, but I do want to dry some of it first. So I'm going to actually use the brush attachment. Um, I might even try this in a little bit as well, just so I can get like more of the root. I just want to get my hair somewhat dry. I don't want to curl it and dry it while it's super wet. Because I don't know how long it's going to take for it to dry. So let's see. Quick disclaimer, I have to say my hair does dry pretty fast. If I section it and I, I blow it out with a brush and everything, my hair does dry pretty fast, I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like I do have... A lot of hair but to be honest I don't think it's like thick at all I don't really know I don't have I have like a head full of hair but I don't think it's thick like my sister has thick ass hair like her hair is so thick um, but mine I feel like it's kind of like medium thick like it's not thin but it's not too thick you know what I'm saying first time I did do this my hair was a little bit too dry I think I did get a lot of the moisture out of my hair but my hair is still pretty wet so I'm okay with it um, I did notice when I was using the curling um, when I was using the curling attachment um, I like to curl it like a regular curling iron and I find that the best way for me to do it is to keep the Dyson air wrap off curl it and then once all my hair is on the barrel then turn it on I feel like when it's on and you're trying to wrap it a lot of other pieces because it will already kind of wrap your hair itself other pieces that aren't in the bunch that you grabbed start to come on there you know what I'm saying so and you'll know if you're if you have the wrong attachment on when you're doing it in a certain way because it's not gonna grab on so if I go like this yeah so like this is the wrong way so I'm gonna have to put the other attachment on because I like holding it like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold about this much start to curl it and then I'm gonna turn it on you can keep your hair there you don't have to hold it but I just like to hold it because the barrel is so short and my hair is pretty long that I want the tip to get it so I do about 15 seconds of hot and then I shoot it with some cool So I noticed when I did it with like more dry hair that the curls weren't lasting very long like by the time I was done with my top section these bottom pieces had really fallen which I'm okay with because like the next day I kind of had like tousled hair like it wasn't super curly but it wasn't straight either it, it kind of looked like I curled my hair and then it was like the fifth day so I just like to really curl it And then turn it on. It's a little bit tedious, but I don't mind it. I look crazy without makeup on. I'm holding it to my root a little bit longer with heat because I feel like my roots aren't as dry as if they would be, and I don't want them to like get greasy. Come on. 
I'm not touching them. I noticed that too. Like after I did it, I was like playing with them and like, you know, touching them. Like, yeah, you don't want to do that. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any hair. I like to pull on it too. Don't ask me if it does anything. See, this is just so annoying. See that hair starts to come out on the bottom, so I'm gonna re-roll it on, and I'm trying to keep my hair closest to this as possible. So essentially you can keep this same attachment and do the other side, but the only difference is that these curls are not going to go inward and I don't like inward curls. So I'm going to switch it back to the other one. I don't like when my hair goes in, it's just I'm not a fan of it, I don't like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Notice when my hair was air dried too much last time. The first time I, I tried it, I felt that the curls weren't lasting. Um, they weren't staying. I think that now that they're starting to fall, I'm okay with it. The only thing I just don't like, and I don't know why it's happening to me because it is the smooth control air wrap. The smooth and control hair wrap, I feel like I just have so many flyaways. I don't think it's necessarily frizz, but I just think it's flyaways. So if you guys have any tips on how to like get rid of that can you let me know because i just feel like my hair has like all these flyaways i mean it usually has that to begin with so i'm not gonna like really degrade on it but like all right see like this front piece of my hair was already so dry by the time i blew it out and it's already already like straight almost so i'm just gonna wet it again and recurl it my hair does not keep a curl whatsoever it does not keep a curl like i have to curl my hair and pin it for like hours before i go somewhere if i want it to stay and even then it doesn't say and my hair has to be dirty to keep a curl i think the secret i don't know why i keep looking so washed out i think the secret is that your hair has to be like 50% wet if not like 60% wet I don't think it should be dry all the way I think you should either if it's too dry get a spray bottle and spray it so it's more wet but for me personally my hair can't be that dry so I think I'm going to do something different the next time I wash my hair yeah that's like way better see like I didn't get that curl when I did it the first time so um I think what I'm gonna do next time I wash my hair is I think I'm gonna put all the products in my hair that I usually do and instead of brushing it out I'm just going to diffuse this I'm gonna use this attachment and get to my roots and make sure my roots are dry because I feel like if my roots aren't dry and I'm putting product in my hair I feel like it's not drying like the best way that it should and then my hair looks greasy and gross and I don't want it to look greasy or gross so I think that's what I'm gonna do next time um, I'm gonna try a few different ways this video should be up don't get me wrong I'm not gonna wait to do all of these different ways and hold you guys to a video so I posted that I purchased this on Instagram you guys went crazy for it um, so if you guys will follow me on there you should I'll leave it down below shameless plug um, but I really like it like I think it's a really good investment especially if you have long hair i mean if you have short hair i mean you could definitely use it and you'll probably have like such a better time doing it because your hair isn't as long as mine so it'll probably fit on this i feel like these should be a little bit longer this should maybe be a little bit shorter but i don't mind it i mean i feel like it's heavy but i'm so used to holding the actual dyson hair dryer that i have that I don't notice a difference to be honest with you but we'll see I don't really like to put a lot of hair products in my hair like like hairsprays or anything the only thing I'll usually do is the texturizing hairspray 
my ends look because I don't know I, I did put that oil in I feel like my ends look really nice like I don't think that they look as dry either which probably is the uh, is a combination of the Briogeo oil and the Dyson Airwrap I'm gonna go ahead and stop laughing I will probably do like an update video for you guys about the Dyson Airwrap probably within like a month or two. Um, I think I, I'm actually going to be filming a Sephora recommendations video right after this just because there's a Sephora sale coming up. So if you guys wanted to snag it, I would definitely recommend waiting till the Sephora sale. I think I liked this way better, but I think I'm not even going to bother brushing, blow drying it. I think I'm just going to go ahead, blow dry my roots a little bit just to get a lot of the moisture out, but not dry my hair. I feel like the brush attachment did actually really blow out my hair really nicely. I don't know the next time I'm going to have to straighten my hair. Um, the next time I do this though, I think I actually might just brush it out and see how it looks like straight and see if I have to go in with my straightener to like smooth anything out. But honestly, I don't think so. I think this looks really good. I also want to try, since I use it like a curling iron, this way I also want to try alternating the curls so I would do one curl this way and then one curl this way so one goes out one goes in and then see how my hair looks with that too so I am going to do an update video letting you guys know the best way for my hair type um, my hair type is straight <laughs> it's straight it's not thick it doesn't hold a curl so if you guys have similar hair to me then I'm going to do a, an update video within the next few weeks letting you guys know how I like it, which way I like to use it, um, and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to stop by now. I will leave all of the information down below in the description box. Okay, guys. So my thoughts on this. I like it. I do. I like it. I have to keep playing with it, though, and I have to um, just kind of like play with everything and see how it is. I'm going to read the manual and like see if I did anything wrong that it doesn't suggest that I that I do, you know what I'm saying? I think my hair looks really good. I think it looks smooth. The only thing is that I think because I let it air dry so much, I have a lot of like of my flyaways. This is usually how I wear my hair. So I would probably curl my hair this way. But I think I feel like I got a salon blowout <laughs> and I didn't. And to be honest with you, I probably would have been still curling my hair just because I probably would have been blowing out my hair and then I probably would have, take a shot for how many times I say probably would have, and then I probably would have actually still been curling my hair with my curling iron because you gotta like sit there, let it, you know, sit there, hold your hair together and it's just, it's so much work and I just feel like this just really, really, really did a nice job. Like. I'm okay with my curls falling like this. When I curl my hair with a curling iron, it's practically straight in a matter of like an hour and a half. So unless I literally like curl my hair and then pin curl it, it's crazy. The next time I wash my hair in the shower, I'm going to just go ahead and do my hair first. I, I let my hair air dry today because obviously I had to put a face on. And then by the time I was done with my makeup, my hair was like 70% dry from the air. Um, but I like it. I think it looks so good. <laughs> So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that bell so you'll be notified for when I upload a video. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.